Uh, thank you for the introduction. Uh, so, um, my talk is about data breaches and we want to end it. So, uh, data are quite universally collected nowadays with very novel ideas to connect them and uh, uh, it's all about almost every aspect of our, our lives. And it has been proved very useful in helping us to make decisions um, um, in various uh, applications. On the flip side, um, data is also so valuable that it naturally becomes number one target of the cyber attacks. So once data are leaked, then the aftermath is, is devastating. Uh, for example, uh, last uh, September, um, there are 143 million Americans has been put at risk uh, by this Equifax um, data breach and $5.8 billion just evaporated in, within one week on Equifax stock, uh, one week after the incident. That's a lot of money. And the breaches, are, it, there's no sign they will wind, wind out. So the question is, can we do something to, to overturn this trend? Well, um, there are brilliant ideas. Uh, one of them is secret sharing. So instead of you just putting the data on a single machine, we can involve a multiple multi machines. And we can also divide the data uh, and store them separately in each machine. The secret sharing guarantees that as long as the attacker does not get a copy of all the secret shares, uh, the origin data just stays uh, perfectly random to the adversary. Um, and it's also easy to tune up uh, your confidence of security by just increasing the number of shares or introducing diversity in the software and the hardware just to make it harder for the attacker to, uh, to, to hack, hack the machine, okay? To, to use the data, it's also very easy uh, to collect all the shares and combine, recover the data. However, um, um, for a determined attacker, they, they, they can observe that um, because there's um, almost some point in the time, uh, sometimes uh, you have to recover the data on certain machine and this easily becomes a single point of failure. The attacker just, just make that the single target for the, of, the, of the attack. So now the question becomes, can we completely get rid of this single point of failure? So actually, the, uh, surely the answer is yes. Uh, just a few years after secret sharing was invented, um, so researcher also pr proposed the uh, secure multi-party computation. And this is a technique that allow um, multiple parties to compute an arbitrary function over their private data without trusting any uh, centralized uh, server. Applied to our setting, it allows us to compute the function, any function fx, without actually recovering x, just by using the uh, x as sh secret shares. So uh, recent years, uh, many prototypes have been built to show this is feasible and possible. And a common um, benchmark to test these things is running an AES cipher where the keys and the messages are state secret shared. One may still question that this is uh, funny, but how scale this could be. Actually, this is a valid concern because in many real world complications, we really need to run circuits of extreme scales. And we address in the ongoing, ongoing research uh, to this scalability problem. In a nutshell, we have a prototype that can, that can run uh, C computations of circuits of arbitrary size, involve arbitrary number of parties. And uh, most importantly, we don't require expensive dedicated hardware to run this. So this means that our approach will be very useful uh, to deploy on resource constrained devices like uh, smartphones and smart meters. We're also exploring these ideas on blockchains where there are a lot of uh, more uh, opportunities we can, uh, we can explore, like uh, we can allow individuals to contribute uh, their private data to uh, useful studies while still 
uh, getting rewards that they deserve. And due to the time, I, I will stop here.